So I hate to break the news to you, but biohacking is dead. I know. But here's the thing. Biohacking as a concept probably shouldn't have existed at all. If you think about it, why on earth would you want to hack your biology? The visual alone is morbid, like being in a cemetery and filming. But the point is, this whole notion of taking control of your biology, it's bullshit. I hate to say it, but it's become over-commercialized and watered down and such an exclusive boys club that I no longer feel like this word that we're all using to describe this thing that we're doing, you know what it is? It's called health. Everyone's doing it. And I am so fed up with trying to pretend that going outside and sitting on the effing grass is biohacking. What isn't biohacking? And so maybe, just maybe, it's time that we reevaluate the use of this word biohacking and perhaps throw an alternative into the ring, change up the narrative a little bit. How about human optimization project? So this right here, it's not just a box, it's a goddamn lifestyle. What's up friends and welcome back to the channel. Now for context, HOP, it stands for Human Optimization Project. And I will unpack this a little bit more with Amy Killen in just a bit. But what I will say is that I think HOP is what biohacking should have been. There you go, I said it. Because HOP is different than pretty much anything that I have reviewed on the channel this far. It's not about hacking yourself per se with electrodes and IV drips and hundreds of pills a day so you can appear shirtless on the cover of Men's Health magazine. No, no, HOP rather is about controlling the stress and the chaos of our everyday lives by really supporting the body's natural processes. Because let's face it, we uh, kind of live in a toxic soup nowadays between air pollution, EMFs, mold, artificial lighting, <laughs> not to mention social media, we are constantly bombarded by an endless number of dysregulating factors that, well, kind of drive up our inflammation and then create these broken systems in our body over time. So I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that these proverbial cards against humanity that were dealt in life they're kind of stacked against us. And then to top it all off, we have been fed this multi-generational narrative that aging is inevitable and there's nothing much to do but grin and bear it or get a freaking facelift. But it doesn't have to be that way, guys. I mean, there is just enough data and scientific research emerging that tells us genetics is only responsible for like 20 to 30% of our total lifespan. So the rest of it, it really comes down to epigenetics, AKA that whole idea that certain genes get turned on and off depending on our lifestyle and our environment. Of course, if you have been following the longevity space at all, the name David Sinclair should not come as a surprise to you. He has been pretty outspoken on this whole topic, appearing on Joe Rogan and everyone in between, arguing that aging itself is simply a disease and that it can, in fact, be reversed. Now, whether or not this is true, eh, it remains to be seen. But we sure as hell have seen enough extreme biohackers like Dave Asprey and Brian Johnson sink millions into their health to try and find out. Which brings me to my biggest gripe with the whole anti-aging and longevity space. And don't worry, I'm gonna talk about the hotbox in the minute, but it's very important that I get this out. Yet again, as with so many things in this whole health space, longevity too has quickly turned into a tale of two extremes. Either you have to turn your body into a public science experiment to squeeze out a couple more years of your life, or you simply sit back, relax, and complain incessantly about the inevitable plight of aging. Which got me thinking, what if there was a third option? Like maybe I don't wanna Benjamin Button myself, but 
I want to look good. I don't want to be in pain. And I still really want to be in control of all my faculties as I get older. Oh, and um, I also want to put in the minimum amount of time and effort for the maximum return on my investment. I forgot that little caveat because, well, I too am an overachieving bio slacker. Anyway, that's what I want for healthy aging. And <clears throat> well, I guess we're gonna have to wrap it up because you'll have to come back in 50 years to see the results. Obviously, I'm just kidding. But gosh, isn't that the wild thing about this whole longevity space? Do we actually know if it's working or not? I mean, I was taking pretty high doses of NMN for almost a year with fingers crossed that it was actually doing something for my biology because my God, that shit was expensive. But because it was hard to tell, I didn't feel different. I didn't see my labs changed. I stopped taking it. Same thing with metformin. Actually, JK, I felt terrible on that because it completely wrecked my B12 levels. Um, but that's a story for another day. The point is I have been treading very cautiously with this whole longevity space for quite a while now. I mean, partly due to my age, but also because, well, is it wrong to say I want to feel better now and later? And well, none of the longevity supplements on the market could actually do that for me up until now, which, oh my God, brings us to the hot box. Way too excited. And in full transparency, I have not actually had a chance to do my thorough 30 day review because they have been sold out for months. And I just got mine for the first time last week. Uh, that is coming. But there's a couple reasons why I personally am gonna support this company right off the bat. And we'll start with the ingredients. So inside this box, you're gonna find these twice daily travel size packs. They're super colorful and they contain five different pills that have adorable names, are easy to swallow and almost look like candy, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Anyway, these include the damage control pill, which is supposed to fight cell damage and has ingredients like quercetin and fisetin. Then we have the hourglass tipper pill to boost your cellular health and longevity. And it has things like NR and hyaluronic acid, which I know is kind of crazy. You usually put that on the outside topically, but Amy has a whole reason why it's internal skin health. We'll get to that. Then there's the Daily D pill, which is uh, the Sunshine Duo, has vitamin D3 and K2. Plus there's the Equalizer pill, which is containing two different types of probiotics to help balance the gut. And finally, the Bees Needs pill, which apparently meets all of your B vitamin needs and more with the active forms like B2 and B12, which will hopefully help restore me after all the damage I did with metformin. And then of course there is the overall brand itself. And here's what I love. Look at this very box. It's bright, it's colorful, and most importantly, dare I say it, it's actually making health fun. They've just taken on this new refreshing approach to aging, one that is empowering the individual. And it's not using fear mongering like we've been used to for far too long. Not to mention the website. Oh my God. They, you got it. You actually have to check this out. They have turned these nine hallmarks of aging, which they're trying to address in the supplements, but they've turned them into these little characters like Shorty T who represents telomere attrition. It's so nerdy and fun, I can't. But it's making educational content something that I actually want to consume and tell other people about. I don't think I have ever sat down and read an entire 60 page PubMed article, walked away and said to myself, wow, that was a great use of my time. But I swear, if you do nothing else, I highly, highly encourage you to go to hotbox.life, that's their website, and read up just the page on how we age because it's entertaining AF and it's informative. And I think it actually might be the best take on the longevity space that we've ever seen thus far. Sorry, Sinclair. And then of course, there's the team and the beauty and the brains behind this whole operation is the one and only Amy B. Killen. I freaking love her. And what I love is she knows her shit. She was an ER doctor for years, then turned into a regenerative medicine and longevity focused physician who's probably done like a million 
stem cell surgeries over the years? Rough estimate. But we had the chance to connect at the Women's Biohacking Conference this year. And I gotta say, it was kind of like meeting up with an old friend. I don't know, we just clicked. I mean, at the end of the day, she is here to help people on their lifelong health journey. Just without all the bullshit and the fear mongering that often comes as part of this space. And then my friend, Sean Wells, who is a master formulator and has spent decades in the supplement industry, he also played a part in helping with the creation of these supplements as part of HOP. So this is a team of experts that I look up to and I trust in the space. To top it all off, here's the crazy part. The HOP box that you see here, it gets reevaluated every six months. Yes, that means Amy and her team, they sit down and they ask, is this ingredient still holding the same weight in terms of research in the space? And if not, they're gonna change it. And I am obsessed with that because let's face it, there is no, you take this ingredient and it's gonna solve your aging issues for life, which is why they let the research dictate the ingredients. And I have a lot of respect for that, which brings us back to this whole premise and the idea that hop is so much more than just a box. It's really a new approach to this whole realm of biohacking. Um, and my personal thoughts are, I feel like I've outgrown that term. It was great and it served its purpose and I understand it. I know it's still part of the jargon and it's gonna be hard to separate ourselves from it. But it's about um, balance and not all of the tech that's associated with it. It's also about getting out in nature and getting back to basics. And I just don't know if biohacking really still encompasses everything that I do in my life right now. But Hop kind of does. And there's a community element, which really sort of seals the deal for me because at the end of the day, what are we doing here if it's not for each other? But let me let Amy explain her rationale because she does it much more eloquently than me. It's this idea that like we are all just this project. And if you if you think about it like that, where there's not an end, like you're really just, you know, you're always trying to do better. You're always trying to understand and to um, to move in the right direction. And that we're, you know, that you're a project, I'm a project. And then at our community, we're all as this part of this project and that we have this ability to, to work together and to learn and understand and grow. Um, so that's kind of where it came from is this idea. And, and then we, we shorten it to HOP, like it's the human optimization project. HOP is a super fun name. It's very like happy. It's, it's, uh, you know, you're moving in like a direction. Um, and I just love the idea of, uh, just kind of bringing positivity back into the space and bringing play. I feel like, um, play is like it, play in the way that we talk about you know, health and wellness and longevity is missing um, as a component. Like there's, you know, there's not, a, it's all, it's, it's all very hard edges. And like, you have to do this and you have to, you have to be in the cold water for this amount of time, or you're not going to have the benefits. And I love cold water, but still like, like when I get more out of playing than I do out of anything else. So that's a big part of it as well. So I am really excited to be here sharing all the goodness that is this box and I encourage you to check it out if you feel inclined to try it, awesome. If you wanna just check out the website, awesome. I just like to share new exciting information um, and things I believe in. And I'm really proud of this company and what they're doing for this space because it's time to change the narrative on so many fronts. So thank you, Amy. <laughs> And thank you to everyone um, who is part of this journey that is looking to optimize their health. Um, there's gonna be so much more coming down the pike in terms of longevity research. And uh, I hope to help you guys stay ahead of the curve. So with that said, I think it's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, it's a wrap. I cannot wait to catch you guys on the next one.